Alright, what's up, dudes? I found this volume 24 of the Halligan's World's Fair. Uh, these are some advertisements they had in the front of it, as well as, like, a board of trustees or commissioners. We got all these hundreds of, if not thousands of people listed here. Um, I thought this was cool. I couldn't find any information on this online. Um, same with the other volume. So I thought this was a worthy post because there is a lot of interest in this stuff. Here it looks like there was some queen of uh, Prussia or something. Princess Eulalia, uh, who visited the fair, supposedly. And um, so this she's kind of, like, featured. Um, there's, like, an article about it. And um, here's, like, a, the promenade and, like, this big horse-looking thing. Um, the horse sculpture kind of looks low-quality compared to some of the other statues. And then, yeah, here we go. We've got, uh, this is Captain Steel, I guess. This building in the top right looks kind of suspicious. Um, and then the, this one also, lots of spires with no antennas, or with no flags. Um, these, like, boats and this canal system they built. And, uh, some fancy street lights, some old, uh, some old trees. So you can see that it was here for a while. Uh, this Belgian exhibit was there, and then it shows, like, they're they're demonstrating some type of uh, weaponry or something. Um, yeah, some chariots, as well as some interior shots. A lot of these interior shots, you can see how high up they, they the ceilings go, but really only one building even gets about halfway to the top of the ceiling, so it seems pretty unnecessary. I thought the children exiting the tree was an interesting statue. I'll put a picture of it at the end so you can see a better shot of it. Um, some more old trees. These are at least like 10, 20 years old, these trees. So Fairgrounds was definitely developed for a while. This fireplace looks high tech as fuck. A lot of urns, a lot of gold. Um, this is like the Edison booth, I believe, showing the phonograph. Um, and this is the Chinese Oriental exhibit. Uh, let's see what else agriculture this is like showing some denver agriculture i think um and that's to explain how all this abundance happened uh yeah big article about colorado i did take some pictures of like some of these longer formed texts so that you guys could get a little view of it they'll be at the end of the video some glass uh glass advertisements this is coal this high-tech chinese building there's just so much to look at, guys. I wanted to read every passage in here, but it would have taken hours. Um, yeah, more advertisements. Magic cream, spoons, printers, some ginger champagnes. Actually sounds pretty good. Um, cold brew nectar. Yeah. Uh, to California. We got PPP, the Colombian Union. So... Just lots of advertisements, and that that's like the advertisement for the collection of books itself. So yeah, just thought that was interesting. These are both of them side by side. I only knew about one of them, but uh, it had two of them in the folder. So and then here are some close-ups of the fairground sketches and uh, the Liberty Glass advertisement. Um, more ads kind of showing little commemorations. Corsets, baking cream, baking powder, toilet soap. He is dead. So yeah, this is more for like if you wanted to view anything specifically. I tried to take a bunch of pictures. So I think there's about a hundred pictures. You can see these high-tech buildings. This is the cover of both of them side by side. Um, and uh, here's some poems. So freeze it on any of these if you want to view... Um, if you want to view anything specifically. But uh, just some detail shots here. Um, so I wonder if, if anybody could find the other 22 volumes. I'm sure there was more than 24. Um, but that the World's Fair logo, pretty crazy, high-tech looking. This is Halligan, apparently. Um this weird statue, like, evil-looking statue. This one's... So, a lot of these pictures are from the other volume, too. Volume 23. 
Um, this is the director general and the president at the opening. You can see people hanging out of the windows, standing on top of these buildings. Like, imagine how much weight those wooden burlap beams would have had to support. So it looks like a fully built-out building, with if it's able to hold all those people on the top of it, hundreds of people on top of it. You wouldn't expect it to be made of burlap or plaster. And then this, like, weird Alabambra by Moonlight. Um, I guess it's like a recreation of some Spanish temple. Um, yeah, so the Labrybida, um, is also, like, recreated, I guess, but you can kind of tell, like, even the place that they're recreating, uh, doesn't look that crazy, um, uh, but here's some close-up shots if you wanted to read about it, I'm not gonna read about it, like, to you here, but this America poem was very telling, I really recommend kind of breaking this down, y'all. Um, because there's mentions of the Tempest Salutations, weapons of Vesuvius, like against the Bell's flaming odds, stuff like that. This dude looks like he's up to no good, just some general. City of Denver. Um, and this is a action shot, looks like an explosion in Chicago. You can see shrapnel still flying out, so maybe they were still doing demolition at the time. And they were taking these pictures. Uh, this is a shot of... Uh, Chicago at the time, and glassware. I took a picture of this because a lot of people wonder about the glass and how they made so much of it. Uh, these, like, weird pavilions. This is also the glassware thing. Um, Wisconsin Pavilion doesn't look too crazy to me. Um, architectural building pavilion doesn't look that cool. This looks out of place um, with all these dudes standing there. With the, and then this is, like, the recreation of the Parthenon, uh, modeled after the Ohio Parthenon, I guess. The Liberty Bell and a pyramid, of course. Like, why? Of course, they would go together. Ontario with these two giant spires. Um, all these berries, spontaneous product. Don't even know what that means. Ontario, Canada, getting a lot of attention, it looks like. Uh, big old steam engines or trains or something. This giant pillar that's just caked in uh, in apples or something. Another giant uh, train. So if these floors are made of wood, I want to know what kind of wood that is because it could withstand thousands of tons. Um, Minnesota. Michigan building with some angels on top. Uh, this triple engine with double dynamo with the black person in the bottom, which is which is rare for these World's Fairs. They're, they're often just like upper class white people at these in attendance um as you can see by the cover just all white dudes with one girl um two models of the thompson building replication of the transportation um some more close-ups of the cover and it, it looks like whoever had the subscription this was the last model um, so some of the technology you can see i'm advertising at the time in the 1890s and yeah, 24. So that's a close up of Princess Eulalia and the party. Um, this is just like an article about Princess Eulalia. The wealth of the statue of the crystal portions of the fair, whatever that means. Hendrix, I thought that was interesting. Hendrix bird cages. So yeah, the statue, this one looks kind of weird out of place, to be honest, compared to some of the other magnificent feats. Um, just another close up for your canal gondola system um and uh yeah more and more and more and more and this dude looking kind of weird um yeah more close-ups looking at these old ass trees um with these weapons ordinances and, uh, yeah, here's a wide shot. You can see how tall, like, only two of the buildings needed to be that tall. Uh, beautiful waterfall in the Illinois building. This is refrigerator, I guess. Had to be shaped like, a, like the Parthenon, too. Missouri fruit. This is, like, some native, uh, exhibit, I guess. City of Nations, like a southward manufactured building. A totem pole, 
everything looking kind of in disrepair. This is an interesting, like, metaphoric depiction of little kids crawling out blindfolded of a tree stump. Hmm. Giant eagle on there. I guess it's supposed to be Chinese theater. It doesn't really look Chinese. Look at that big-ass tower in the back. Muddy floors and uh, the high-tech fireplace, all the urns. But yeah, guys, just wanted to show you some more close-ups of uh, of uh, this World's Fair document. I couldn't find anything about it online, just mentions of it. Um, and it wasn't even available for like online viewing from my university, so I had to like actually go to the rare book set selection and uh, pick it out. I think there were a couple other rare books on the fairs up there. So um, yeah, I've got some maps of India. I saw this USSR map of uh, Atlas of Tartary, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be posting some of those in the coming days. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, dogs, and uh, I will catch you later.